It's another one of these because I don't know how to stop spending money. Ha! Hello everyone, welcome back to my shitty channel where your favorite whore, me, talks about pantyhose and random shit and we all have a good ass time. As a lot of you probably noticed already, my backdrop has changed quite a bit. And that is because I had a manic episode and I uh, added some more <laughs> plants. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna get right into this video then. Uh, obviously this means that I went to Victoria's Secret again and I bought way too many panties because they had a sale and I was like, that means that I can justify buying a bunch of them, right? Right? Apparently. That was not as dramatic as I wanted it to be. Wait a minute, this needs to be. Right? Right? Yes. Absolutely. So I just wanted to make a video trying all of these on because I didn't actually try any of them on when I was at Victoria's Secret because I was too anxious. And yeah, that happens to me sometimes when I'm manic. I just get way too anxious and I'm like, nope, can't do anything, have to go home right now. So all of these are mediums. I usually fit mediums into Victoria's Secret, so I'm not concerned about them not fitting. This is going to be a little bit of a chit chat and update video for those of you who are curious about what's been going on with me and why I've been so sporadically uploading the past couple months. Uh, I apologize for that. I'm so sorry. I've just had a lot going on outside of my modeling. <laughs> sorry. I honestly don't remember what half of these are. Like, I, I might just start at the top and go, because I don't know. Okay, so this is obviously a pair of pretty pink, or peach, <gasps> cheekies, and it has a cute bow on this side. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go try them on. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna keep my bra on, but as is tradition for me in my Victoria's Secret panty haul videos, I'm not gonna be wearing a shirt, I'm just gonna wear this bra, so. Okay, that's my underwear. <laughs> All right, here we have pair one. I think they're so fucking cute. I love this color. I love this pretty peachy orange color. Oh yeah, in case any of you were not aware, I did go and get a new tattoo. So, for those who were curious to see what that was, this is my new piece. So that is one of the things that I've been doing, one of the reasons why I haven't been posting because the tattoo has been healing and I've just not, I don't want to put on pantyhose, I don't want to try and like record things when I have a tattoo that's peeling and healing all over the place. So I've just not been recording, um, but I have also had a lot of other personal things going on. So uh, this is a pair of... Oh shit, these look high-waisted. Oh no, these look weird. Oh, these might fit funny. High leg cheeky. Okay, these might be weird, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll like them. Oh God. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do. I really like these. Um, that's surprising. I don't usually like this like Brazilian type cut where it comes up this high, but this really shows off my tattoos and I kind of dig it. So, um, yeah. These are kind of like a spandexy material and I really, really like them. They're very comfortable to wear. Um, and honestly, they sit up above where my problem area is. So that's kind of nice, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh yes, so I got this bright red thong because I realized that I don't have just a plain bright red thong. So I bought one, because everybody needs one, I think. I have a million black ones, but I don't have a pretty bright red one. Oh yeah, this is hot. Ooh, boy, this is cute. Damn. So, I like this a lot. This is obviously very similar to a lot of other Victoria's Secret panties that I've tried on before, so it's not like this is revolutionary and shocking, but I just, I really like I rather like this color on me. Usually bright red is not my thing. I prefer to go for darker reds. Like maroon and burgundy are usually my go-to colors as we can clearly see 
but I do really like this bright red. I think it's very cute. It's very flirty, um, which is my like go-to for thongs. So, um, the next pair that I have is this like weird dual material type. It's really spandexy in the front and just like sheer lace in the back. So I'm hoping it's cute, but who knows? Um, <laughs> this is definitely peculiar. Like it fits kind of weirdly, but I kind of like it. I kind of like having a mildly see-through portion in the back. Although I don't like how this is totally opaque. I don't know, it reminds me of another pair of panties that I literally just barely sold. <laughs> and I'm like, damn it, why did I buy another? Fuck, okay. So, and yeah, for anybody, if you are interested in purchasing a pair of these as a worn item, feel free to send me an email because I do sell my worn items. I've had a lot of people who really like my panties. So, do with that information what you will. <laughs> I have another pair that looks very similar to the pair that I'm currently wearing, but it is kind of like a shimmery, kind of grayish lavender color with sheer in the back. We'll see. Oh, okay, so this is a very different cut than I usually wear. It is very low sitting um, on my hips <laughs> compared to what I usually prefer. So. It's kind of nice, but at the same time, it's kind of, it feels kind of weird. It feels like it's going to slip off my ass, <laughs> you know? It's just not super comfortable. They, they feel a little tight right in this area, right around my hips. So, um, yeah, I like this pair, but definitely by far not my favorite of this haul. Ooh, and then I have this other like red and like light pink thong. I'm very excited for this one. I love these colors. So, oh yeah, I like this. I like these two together actually. Like this is a set, fucking cute. And I love how it's like, <laughs> let me have it not just my touch now. Ah! Anyway, um, and because I realized that I haven't really been chit-chatting at all or updating this video. Um, I mean, I've been chit-chatting, but not about the things I intended to chit-chat about. Um, anyway, as many of you know, I've been spending a lot of time in therapy. So I haven't had the energy to want to do anything other than, like, just keep myself in a space where I'm mentally stable, if that makes sense. Uh, this time of year really, really fucks me up. And I have been getting back into dating a little bit. So I've kind of, I've been very frustrated with that because a lot of the people my age are not, they're not emotionally available. And my problem is that I don't want to go for people that are way older than I am because I don't like the generational difference that you get. But I'm also having issues with the people that I am closer in age range to not like relating to me or my lifestyle so i'm kind of in a weird position where i'm trying to date but i can't really relate to a lot of the people that i'm trying to date and a lot of them just are not in a position to want anything romantic so i'm kind of at a bit of a loss um and i'm kind of frustrated not gonna lie i basically i've just had a lot going on and I haven't really had the energy to record mainly because I've been in this weird like transitionary period with my mental health and with my like emotional well-being. Later this month I'm going to be going in to get tested for a potential learning disorder so that should be fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm not excited for it, it's going to be very expensive. Um, I'm just gonna get on with the next pair because I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. So yeah, the next pair is very similar to that silverish lavender pair with the material and like how the front cut is, but this one is a thong. So, okay, this pair's cute. I feel like 
it probably is supposed to sit like the last pair did lower on my hips. I have a tendency to want to pull them up higher just because it shows off my tattoos better, but um, this one I'm pretty sure is supposed to sit down here. So I'm just gonna put them on there because that's how they're supposed to be worn. I don't really like the pairs that sit right here on your hips though. I prefer pairs that come up a little higher right here. So this pair, I don't know. I'll have to see if it feels differently after I've washed it a couple, blah, blah. I'll have to see if it fits differently after I've washed it a couple of times because this material is kind of rough. It's kind of abrasive. So it might, it might be more comfortable once I wash it and once it's stretched out a little bit. But as of right now, I'm not sure how I feel about this pair. So we're doing another pink pair. This one is a sheer pink thong. Ooh. So this one is like a silky, like satin type material. It's very comfortable and it's very pretty pink. Oh, sorry, tags. But I really like this. This is very comfortable. I should have bought more pairs of this because these, oh my God, I could just lounge in these all day. They're so comfy. Yeah, these are so comfy. I, I should have bought more of these. Damn, I don't know why I didn't. The next pair, we have a sheer lavender bikini, I believe. Uh, it has polka dots in the front and like a mix of, what's that called? Um, a mix of polka dot and crosshatch on the back. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this looks. Oh, damn. Damn, these are fucking cute. What the hell? I really, really like this pair. I think they're very pretty. And if you guys can see, it does have the like polka dot and crosshatch on the back. So I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's cute. It's cute. I like this pair. Um, flattering color. I think this is a thong. I don't remember. I think this goes in the... Yes. So I think it's a floral thong. Um, I'm usually... I'm usually a fan of strappies. But we'll have to see with this pair because it's... Uh, it, um... God, I feel like this could be so cute. But these little strappies in front are not... They're, they're not as taut as they should be. So it's not super flattering because they keep like poking up and they're just really loose. I don't know. So this one is a definite, uh, I'm not sure, but it's cute. Like the back is cute. Aesthetically, it looks great, but up close it's, <laughs> okay. Oh, damn it. There's another, what the hell? I bought so many. Okay. Well, here's another, uh, this looks like a slightly darker version of the gray and lavender pair that I tried on earlier that had shimmery in the front and like sheer lace in the back. So another similar pair. <laughs> anyway, it's another one of these that kind of sits lower on my hips. So I'm not, again, I'm really not a huge fan of this type of uh, panty just because I don't feel like it's very flattering on my particular body. Um, specifically my body type and my, uh, my ink. So this pair, far from my favorite, but I think like if this area is covered up and it's just showing this bottom half, I think it looks fine, but I don't, <laughs> I don't really like how this looks past this point. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just too picky. Maybe my mom is right. <laughs> um, we have another pair of sheer purple panties. This is the last pair. It is a lavender sheer thong. And there we have it. I really like this pair. I think they're very cute, very flirty. Uh, they're comfortable, which is a plus. Now I have new panties that are fun and exciting and I'll be posting pictures in them to my OnlyFans probably. Um, I might also include some videos in these on my many vids if you guys would be interested So if you would like videos in these on my many vids feel free to let me know in the comments 
Again, if you're interested in purchasing any of these panties as worn items or any of the panties that I've tried on in previous videos that I still have, check out the link at the bottom of the description. I will have a place where I've listed all of my worn items where they can be browsed so that you can pick out which pair you'd like to purchase if you are interested in doing so. I think that's gonna be about it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your patience with me with uploading so irregularly. Um, I've just, I've had a lot going on and I understand it can get very frustrating as a viewer to not know what's going on. So if you would like to be more updated with things about me and my life, go follow me on Instagram because I update there the most out of everywhere. So if you're ever confused about where I am, check Instagram because that's usually the best place to reach me at the best place to find information on me and what the fuck is going on in my life because it is chaos. <laughs> That's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Feel free to check out the links at the bottom of the description if you'd like to support me and or my channel and get access to exclusive content of mine, uh, of me like in these panties and other lingerie items that I've tried on in the past. So, <sighs> yeah. I need some fucking water, my throat feels disgusting. I'll see you guys in the next video, so.